Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and welcome to our new aviary. We're uh, pretty much done with it. I'm going to be putting a little bit of uh, finishing touches up on it today and uh, probably going to start moving birds out here in about 15-20 minutes. Now you've seen the, uh, the previous videos that we did as we were uh, constructing it. We used 4x4s and uh, pretty much uh, put them on 8 foot squares all the way around. I've got barn metal or barn siding, whatever you want to call it. It's about three and a half foot up. So that's uh, higher, uh, should be higher than what a raccoon can jump, which that's the main predators we have to deal with with our birds. Uh, so they can't get up. I've got where they come together. I've got them kind of reinforced so they can't get in. I'm also going to be putting up a uh, electric fence at uh, probably about right here, right here, and at the very top. Plus, I've got some metal spikes I'm going to hammer into the ground so they can't dig in. Uh, just a uh, little more precautions. So we'll walk around it. This is the wall that uh, makes the house I built for them. And uh, when I got here, uh, because we wore on a hill, there was a good bit of gap underneath. So I put chicken wire in and uh, kind of took it to, a, uh, to an L shape once, uh, once it hit the ground. And I got creek rock. I put a layer of creek rock on here. And then I came back on top of the creek rock and I covered it with uh, a, uh, a light coating, uh, somewhat light coating of a quick cr concrete mix. And then I've got another, on top of that, I've got more creek rock. And I'm going to come back and going to put some more quick creek on top of that. And the plan is after that to come in with uh, probably get a dump truck load or two of dirt and uh, make a slope coming down. So make it a little easier to mow uh, next spring. We're walking around. You can see a little bit of the uh, quick creek here and there as uh, I come around. I've got the end posts. I've got to get up there and trim them up as uh, you can kind of see. And I've got bird netting on top. The uh, bird netting, it's supposed to be good for about 20 years. And a raccoon will go right through it. That's why we've got the electric fence we're going to be putting up and some of the other precautions. But with this, if one of the birds flies up there and hits it from some of the research, some of the people I've talked to, uh, hardware cloth, which is what I have here. If you have it on top, sometimes they hit it hard and uh, it can kind of damage the animal. So definitely don't want to do that because they are uh, our pets. So I made a door in here. Got a couple of... Uh, got some hinges where I can lock it up. A little door handle. Cheap uh, tractor supply, Amazon, Walmart, you can find those most places. And as we come in, I've got perches that, I'm, that I uh, went around the farm, gathered up. These, uh, I believe, are sycamore trees. Uh, these were brought down in a windstorm. So I've got them mounted up. I've got a few more over here and uh, probably end up putting a few more up as well, but it gives them a place that they can perch, they can run around on the ground. I have some, uh... oh look, the goats just escaped from their enclosure. <laughs> I'll get them back in a minute. Uh, went by Harbor Freight and I got these solar powered string lights because I don't have power out here. And uh, this, Last night I came out after dark and this worked phenomenal because of the unpainted metal. It kind of reflected off of it and really lit this place up. So I made them a small 8x8 house in here. And uh, sun comes in this way in the morning. So I have a, uh, a clear panel here and up here basically to let a little light in, but also in the winter months to uh, kind of warm it a little bit. I've got chicken wire, had a little gap here, which uh, uh, I like leaving a little bit of a gap, just enough that, uh, you know, it kind of lets it air out a little bit. 
but I've got chicken wire going here and there. I've got a little more to put up, but uh, just if a predator were, get, would come in, it would uh, keep them out. Built me a little door where I can lock them up in here. Still got my tools in, and this is their inside space. And I uh, had an old pallet laying around in the barn, and I have it set up here. Right now, I'm kind of using it as a workbench. I'm getting ready to clear all this out, but I'm going to put a, uh, a small sheet of plywood on top of this and make it kind of a, uh, a place where they can perch, but like a nesting box I'm going to set up in here. And then underneath, I'm going to set up a nesting box as well. So that way, if uh, they've got eggs, we can get baby peafowl. Because that is, uh, they are pets, but that is kind of the goal too, is to, you know, raise babies as well. Because uh, on a farm, you know, it's got to pay for itself. It, well, it doesn't pay for itself, but it's got to pretend to pay for itself, I guess. So that is our peafowl slash pheasant and quail chucker enclosure i think we might keep some guineas in here uh looking at a couple different types of birds but probably uh mainly peafowl pheasant and quail are what's going to be in here so it's matt from mcgee farms i'm gonna get ready to start moving some uh birds in here and the next video uh, that i post after this one you'll see the birds getting moved in and exploring their new area Hope you enjoy the video. If it inspires you, if you do enjoy it, please consider giving us a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel. We uh, do a lot of videos with our birds and our goats and our different livestock and stuff around the farm, or uh, leaving us a comment. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.